Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obita Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're having a little look at Worshippers of Cthulhu. Now, this is a colony sim. It's a city builder. However, it is very cult-themed. Uh, we are effectively in charge of our own cult. Now, let's jump into things and see what we've got going on. Uh, there is a little uh, little cutscene here, which I'm going to skip through uh, before we go into another little sort of cutscene and a little bit of exposition, which is going to explain our predicament. Uh, it's fairly easy to grasp. Uh, we are on a uh, little boat. Thank you. We've got a nice little quote here. Uh, we're on a little boat. The boat crashes, and suddenly we are marooned on this island. There we go. Here's the boat. I don't want to foreshadow too much, but this is a city builder, so you kind of you, you kind of know what you're getting. We're marooned on this island. Now, um, one very, very, very irritating thing. This guy, bless him. I, I'm sure. That, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As if unveiled at our approach, a certain sign of our fated arrival to this prophesied land. Thank you. There's more. Keep it coming. Ryla. Okay, so this is the island that we're on. Now, as much as I possibly wish I could, uh, I cannot for the life of me turn that guy down. So occasionally, we're just going to have little bits of dialogue interspersing things, but... That's kind of it. There he goes again. Anyway. Indeed. Indeed. Jeez, it just keeps going on. Here's the thing. There is a whole bunch of interesting stuff that is happening on this island. We are going to be interacting with it in a variety of different ways. Uh, there's this sort of big pit down in the middle here. There is also like a... What is this? some sort of ruin that we need archaeologists to clean, uh, to clean up as well. Uh, there is also sort of like little, I don't know, like little shrine spots, little power spots on these islands. Uh, there is also the main storage, uh, which is run by one of my, I think one of my followers. This is where we store all of our resources. And then there's also the remnants of a civilization that was clearly here before us. And what we are able to do is we're able to scavenge all of these resources, including the resources of our ship, in order to uh, at least try and get ourselves a little bit of a head start on this island. Now, uh, there's a couple of other things going on up here. None of it is overly complicated. We've got faith, which is our currency. We've got total number of citizens, faith, income, homeless citizens. That's 12 at the moment. Uh, initiates available, uh, acolytes available, and disciples available. Uh, plus, we've got a bunch of different little icons down here, which is basically uh, our variety of buildings. Right, okay. We've got it. Thank you. We're going to be skipping through the tutorial elements as much as we possibly can. At least we can skip through the tutorial elements. I just wish I could, just wish I could turn his voice off. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's see if we can try and queue up the deconstruction of some of these buildings, and then let's get our basic infrastructure down. We've got a dirt road unlocked at the moment, and then a lumberjack and a lumber mill. And if I queue these up for deconstruction and then deconstruct them, we can see that our planks go up to the top left-hand side. And what I think I will do is I will place the lumber mill right over there and I will place the uh sorry not the lumber mill the whatever that thing is yeah, yeah thank you don't worry I'll get to that in just a sec uh what was it that was the lumber jack and then the lumber mill cool now everything needs to be connected to the main storage which is fine and we're also going to need to build ourselves a builder's shack. The builder's shack is going to allow us to start actually constructing these buildings. Once that is done, we should be able to assign workers. And the workers should be able to uh, work these resources, which is quite nice. Connect structures via roads to the finished building. Yep, we have done that. And let's go into three times speed as well, which should allow things to go just that little bit faster. Now, here's the thing. We can't actually assign workers uh, until we actually have houses for them. So what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to turn our homeless citizens into initiates by building houses. Let's get four. It just costs two planks a piece. Nothing too crazy there. 
and we'll go into uh, to two times speed, which is grand. Uh, after we have got these houses built, which should take absolutely no time at all, we should be able to automatically, I say automatically, manually. Now that shelter is secure, Goodness gracious me. He, this high, this high priest doesn't think much of me, to be honest. We love ceaseless work. We do. Workers, oh high priest. Indeed. Okay, so the lumberjack is going to get a uh, an employee, which is grand. Uh, look at you. You're actually, you're actually a specialist. That's cool. Let's get you assigned. That's grand. That is going to reduce the number of, what is it, acolytes that I said? Sorry, initiates. That's the acolytes, yeah. Workers, oh right. I don't think that anybody has a specialization that I'm particularly interested in. I mean, we could just build more houses. I might just do that and see if we can try and find an acolyte. Sorry, an initiate that we like the look of. Meanwhile, I will also uh, deconstruct these buildings. And we'll go into three times speed as well, which is quite grand indeed. Okay, so lots and lots of people finding their new homes after they've all been built. Let's see if we can try and go back here and find somebody with a specialism that we're interested in. No. Uh, I'll just assign a random person then. That's fine. Okay, so it's one worker per, uh, per building. That's completely fine, at least for the early stages of the game. We can make that work. Disassemble the remnants of those who came before us. Don't worry. I'm already on it, buddy. Easy. Okay, enter the main storage and solve the matter of your faithful. Okay. God, even when I've even when I've clicked through, he doesn't stop talking. Um, right, so occasionally we will have sort of a decision that we need to make. Uh, to thank the old one for allowing them to arrive on this land, your people prepare a ritual firewood spires. Each spire holding two uh, caught animals struggling against the ropes and captives brought along during your voyage. The captives, a young man and woman, scream with torn voices, crazed eyes, and deep bruises on their bodies. You are asked to throw the torch to begin celebrations. Come closer and light the spires at the exact place where the flames will eat the sacrifices at a maddeningly slow pace. That sounds... <laughs> awful. Without hesitation, light the spires on the fire. Release the sacrifices from the spires. You know what? Maximum torture. And that gives us 15, uh, 15 planks, which is, uh, which is kind of nice. So we could see that the rewards were unknown. But uh, now that we've had that as an option, we will, uh, we will know the rewards uh, if that event happens again. All right. What's going on in the big old pit of Cthulhu? There's something down there, and we don't know what it is. It could be anything. Priest, Very spooky. Have your senses been rekindled? At the culmination of the ritual, both of us fell into unconsciousness. Thank you. I feel like my senses are slowly atrophying every time I need to listen to your voice. Anyway, we've got a little tech tree here. <laughs> Thank you. The tech tree is this. We are able to uh, we're able to unlock things by utilizing favor, and that is what we are going. Jeez, Louise, dude, you just don't shut up, do you? You just don't shut up. Anyway, uh, we're now able to build the sacrifice altar, which is used to sacrifice specific specific carvings. Facing the abyss that lies at the heart of this realm. Excellent. And we'll connect this up as well. I don't know. Do we need to connect this up? Maybe we don't. I'm not super sure. Okay. We've got a, a Welsh speaking demon. Okay, so that's going to be our objective, right? Is to presumably arouse the Great One. Uh, we will do what we can. We've unlocked a brand new ritual. Uh, Eldritch Favor and Devotion. Obtain favor by carving an effigy and making a sacrifice. So that is exactly what we are going to do. And in fact, 
we can immediately start. Cool. Excellent. Okay, so the way that we go about this is by clicking on the sacrifice altar and beginning the ritual. Now, in order to build a little sort of token thing here, uh, we can add the resources. So we add planks. Boom. That gives us this little uh, this little bad boy over here. And then what we want to do, or what we can do, if we're not happy with this amount of eldritch favor and this amount of devotion, uh, we can actually add on a few different little add-ons. So this specific sort of, uh, this specific little trophy thing is going to give us a whole bunch of Eldritch Favor, not a huge amount of devotion. It's going to take 60 seconds to carve, and it's going to cost us Let 200 us faith. So basically, uh, we, we just, with your we just, uh, we just throw this down here, and then we wait for it to be built, and that is, and that is that, basically. Also, there's some stairs over here. Where do they lead? Nowhere. It looks like a big old door, but it's uh, but it's closed. Anyway, uh, the ritual has been completed. Let us see what that yields us. That's the Cthulhu that we know and love. Let us gather. Thank you very much. Amazing. Okay. Um, so that was that. We've got another little objective here. Flames of Wrath interact with the bonfire and listen to your people. Okay. I'll do that. What are my people saying? They seem to be burning quite a lot of resources that maybe might be quite useful. of our God and the living conditions of your flock distort their mind. Pity. Unlightened souls. Yet, we should attend to their primal needs to amend this distraction. I have carefully recorded the needs of the faithful within their house, all for your noble purpose. Okay. Thank you very much. But I would still I would still like it if uh, you respected my noble purpose uh, enough to not uh, speak every 10 seconds, but that's okay. Right. So People generate more faith and work harder the more needs you fulfill. That is basically the upshot of the sort of worker mechanics. Uh, cooked corn, clams, robes, elder's temple, and re-educator. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, in order to sort of knock the first thingy off, uh, we can build an Elder's Temple and we can fulfill the need of everybody within a certain area. We're going to have to jump back into Eldritch Favor. We're going to have to spend 10 Favor in order to unlock the temple, which is absolutely fine. And then we can quite simply build the Elder Temple here. Now, uh, we can actually see at a glance that it is going to impact all of the houses, uh, pretty much all the houses. In fact, yes, absolutely all the houses. However, um, if we have a specifically or particularly long road, that can mean that a house is, uh, is not in the sort of catchment area. So we do need to be careful of that. I'm also going to queue up an additional... I'm going to queue up an additional ritual. Uh, we can actually see that this that this uh, carving is not super, super good. So what we can do is we can actually re-roll. And that will allow us to get some, uh, some additional enhancements. Which is not super bad, if you ask me. First requirement of followers fulfilled. Witness how their zeal rises, marking the, the increase in productivity and obedience. Okay, fine. Okay, build a a clam collector, fulfill the clam need of every worker, and build a corn plantation and a corn cooker and the corn need of every worker. Right. So what do we what do we have here? Corn plantation, corn cooker. We've got thirty six, so we can get three out of the three out of the five upgrades here. Um, let's get storage, clam, and a corn plantation now. That also gives us faith income, apparently, which is quite nice. I'll take it. Certainly can't complain. Uh, we can build a clam collector. The issue with what I have done, though, is that I have uh, not sensibly... Uh, can I demolish this house? That is the real question. I am legitimately not sure if I can. Embrace your destiny. Yeah, that's good and all, but... How do I demolish? How do I how do I demolish? I mean, we 
can't build it. We can't build up there. Uh, I, I actually have no idea if we can get rid of this. They will be rewarded. Dogma? You've not declared a dogma? Can I demolish? Can I actually demolish this? Workplaces. We obey. Uh, active effects. I, I really have absolutely no idea if I can demolish the uh, demolish the houses. Let me see if I can try and figure this out. It's all right. I figured it out. It's apparently Q, Q to demolish. There we go. Uh, right. Let's rebuild that house over here. Let's enable the construction of a path up there. That'll be fine. That's going to give us our clam collector. We'll also build a storage facility somewhere. I'm going to need to queue up a few additional houses for uh, plank deconstruction. And we can also go back over to our ritual thing and complete the ritual, which now doesn't actually take us into a cutscene, which is quite nice. It means we can start a brand new ritual as and when we want to. Ooh, sacrifice followers. I'm interested. I'm interested. Um, I don't really have the planks for what I want to do right now, so we're going to just have to sort of... Take a little bit of a rain check on that, workers, oh, but that's all right. Okay. Three workers is what we can get in this building, which is grand. We've got three people that are very, very motivated to work. Ooh. To work in a clam factory. Uh, looks like, by the way, that if we assign people who do not have a specialism uh, matching what uh, they're actually working in, looks like they don't level up. Uh, so that's something to note. It also means that we will be rewarded. this lumberjack is probably, honestly, not somebody who we want to have there, or the uh, sawmill lumber mill operator is not somebody we want to have there. Instead, let's get somebody who actually has an appropriate specialism, and let's get those planks. Uh, let's get those planks moved along. Let's go and see if we can try and grab that last corn cooker upgrade, which is perfect, and then we will see if we can try and get ourselves the corn plantation and the corn cooker. Let's go here, and then let's go here. Absolutely grand. It also looks like there's no materials for building production. Yeah, that that's not exactly ideal. To me, that says we need to we need to try and increase our our, our lumberjack outputs a little bit. So let's see if we can try and do that. Maybe over here. That's grand. Cool. And we'll get that built too. If you're not connected to the main storage, I'll fix that. Don't you worry about it. Okay. Fulfill the clam need of every worker. A corn cooker. Corn cooker is built. How are we doing? Clam need is not being fulfilled, but that is fine. We should get there. Now, uh, insufficient plantation fields. Oh, I need to get uh, I need to get plantation fields built out. No worries. Don't you worry about it. I can I can do that. Uh, we need an adjacent building. Uh, that's a bit inconvenient to be honest. Let's let's remove this then. This is maybe going to bring a little bit of uh, maybe it's going to be a little bit disrespectful having having the fields right next to the sort of main structure here, but. That's fine. That's enough. That's enough fields, right? Insufficient workforce, insufficient workforce. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Corn cooker. Uh, we don't have anybody that is motivated by corn. Let's see if we can try and nab ourselves a few additional houses. Let's see if we can try and do this up here. Ideally, we're able to sort of capture the range of the Elder's Temple as well. Houses. Where are houses? What did I need? Five. Three. Four, five. Uh, we need some more planks. Let's yoink these then, shall we? Uh, yeah, fine. Just throw them down there. It should be mostly fine in terms of uh, the reach of the temple. 
Also, how many more how many more of these sort of old historic buildings do we actually have? Probably not that many. Yeah. Why are you not building? What's the issue? We've got the builder shack. Start building, dude. The houses do not want to get built. Let's have another punt, shall we? Uh, let's also... Workers, oh let's also assign one person to this corn cooker. And let's get the second person to the corn cooker. And then let's go back to the houses. We need to solve this, this house situation. Okay. What's up? Oh yeah, you don't have a worker. Oh no worker here either. Okay. What's the what's the big deal? You're not looking like you're particularly interested in moving. Fulfill the corn need of every we worker. Yeah. Workers. There are no material. We require workers, oh high priest. Sure, just just have someone. Have somebody in the corn plantation there. there no one person in the corn plantation. One person there. We'll at least partially fulfill that. I'll work for our God. Destroy the builder shack and uh, retry the builder shack. There we go. Hopefully that makes somewhat of a difference. Doesn't look like it's going to though. It looks like the house building is is just not going to work. There should not be any impediment to building these houses. The grade one. But at least we're going to be there producing no corn. That is going to be highly highly irritating if we can't actually if we can't actually fix this. Let me let me re uh, resave and see if that'll see if that'll fix it. Could just be a bug. Happy days. I changed the location of the builder shack. I destroyed it, rebuilt it a couple of times, and wow. that looks like it has fixed the uh, the issue. So apart from the fact that we've got a big old gaping hole in the middle of our city, if that's what you can call this, uh, things are looking things are looking fine. Workers, oh, now let's see. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, we've also got somebody that is passionate about corn. I am very enthusiastic about the person that is passionate about corn. Because we can get them assigned to the plantation, which is what I am going to do. All right. Your flock's primal desires and cravings have been salted, my high priest, rendering them content and most significantly more devoted and productive in service to our sacred cause. That is what we love to see. Behold, your devoted acolytes stand ready, their zeal renewed, their faith unwavering and eager to advance our noble pursuit. I serve the deep. There we go. We did it. Unlock the beacon altar in the Eldritch favor window. We require obedient and capable bodies prepared for labor. But we lack a venue to attract new followers too. Don't worry. I'm working on it. Let me get my... Let me... My pleasure, Welsh demon. I would be happy to do so. Um, now everybody has been assigned to their proper buildings, I think. Yeah, we still have two spaces here, but nobody that uh, has a specialism in corn, which is fine. Right, let's get the beacon altar. And then let's get that, uh, let's get that built here. Presumably there is, yeah, I was going to say, presumably for a special building like this, there is a location. We'll build it right over yonder. It looks like we don't have to connect up a road here. Okay. We're going to be able to ask for new people by conducting a ritual here. Obtaining new homeless followers. Excellent. Oblivion beckons. Okay, what do we need? We need cooked corn, clams, clams, and that. We don't necessarily have to do it all now. Uh, we need a little bit more corn. What do we What do we have? We've got one singular cooked corn. One singular cooked corn, a few, a few clams. Worship the great one. Yeah, I think we're I think we're punting out plenty our 
God. I think we're punting out plenty of, uh... Plenty of this. Cook corn, upkeep cost. That's, that's fine. Corn cooker. We're okay with this. Start carving an effigy for followers of the new ritual. Don't worry. I just need a little okay? bit more corn first. I might even get an additional corn plantation. Performance is Worship perfect. Performance is medium. Um, because we don't really have enough workers, right? Clam collector worker that's passionate. I mean, why don't we assign them both now? We'll assign them both now. That didn't work. There we go. That did work. Uh, assign them both now. Production is perfect, it says. So production should be uh, a little bit better here. It's not exactly, not exactly optimal in the sense that uh, we're not able to level people up. That's going to give us more zeal, apparently, which improves performance. But the good news is, is that we are actually making faith as opposed to losing faith, which is quite nice. Uh, we've got 92 expenses. That's the upcoming, or the up, uh, the upkeep costs of all the different buildings. Uh, we've got an income of, uh, of, of 96, presumably because we've got this eldritch favor thing here. Which is grand. Right. How much... How much did I need? Six. And then two more to get additional followers. We basically need to get that. Okay, let's... Let's let's get it. Um, we also don't really need this building anymore, no do we? Requires our goods, oh high priest. Yeah, although you are, you're doing a decent job. You're doing a decent job. You're fine, you know? You're grand. You just chill out over there. That's that's fine. Oh, I've got resources on the beach. I forgot about that. Maybe there's going to be some cooked corn in these uh, these crates, but I doubt it. It's just going to be planks. Anything else on the shore? Any other buildings that I've missed? I don't think so. There is some, as we say, weird little orange lights in the ground over there, but they're actually just flowers. Some ruins over there that we've got to clear up. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Cooked corn time. Fulfill the prophecy. Let's do it. Get that added. That gives us something brand new. If we can add one singular additional corn to our stash, just like so, we can actually ensure that we're going to get 12 homeless citizens and a little bit of devotion as well. So let's carve that. It's going to take us 90 seconds. No big deal. We can make it happen, and that's going to gain us some new followers. Now, performance window. Yeah, we've actually already looked at this, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Let's have a little look-see. Cool. Satisfy their needs. And they will offer even greater devotion. That's what we love to see. That's cool. Build the bows for them and see your cult flourish. Seduce. I'm not I mean, calling it a cult is a is a red flag. I mean, nobody that's serious about actually growing and making a cult is calling it a cult, right? I mean if I was running a cult, I'd I would not I would not call it a cult. Put it that way. Uh let's build let's build some more houses over here, some preemptive new houses. Uh we haven't actually finished this ritual yet until we click on this button, which I will do. That's gonna bring us some new followers somehow, presumably from another boat, right? Oh, it's the Welsh demons. They're going to yoink the uh the ritual and That is going to do something. All right. Well, at least I know what my next objective is. It is to build a whole bunch of additional houses. Uh, we got 12, by the way. 12 homeless... 12 homeless followers. Or potentially interested people. All right, not too bad. Oh yeah, um, we may actually need to connect that up to the main storage. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. As long as it's sort of as long as it's within range of that um, that big old temple thing there, we should be fine. There we go. Those lacking the vision 
Ah, another settlement. Okay, so apparently I'm the favored... I'm the favored cult operator, which is nice. Okay, quickly gauge the situation to open its select left UI. That is fine. High priest, we must navigate the depths to claim distant shores and reach the unenlightened souls chosen to satisfy the hunger of our deity. Okay, we will do just that. Uh, how do I open this map, though? Oh, that button over there. Gotcha. Clicking on the map doesn't do it. We have to click on the uh, the map button. Right. Uh, enemy defensive tower, 2,000. And then the dock is 3,000. That's all that we can see. We can move to it. That's it. Okay. All right. We, um, we like it. Let's head back home and let's see what we can do. So, build a summoning ritual stone. What do we need for that? Aha, we've got some new stuff. Uh, robe maker, a sheep farm, and a summoning ritual site, which is what we need. We need that bad boy. But also, I'd love to get a robe maker and a sheep farm. So let's um, let's see if we can try and nab that. Continue ritual. Yep, and add all of this stuff. We'll get as much as we possibly can. Can't do anything with the followers yet, but that's okay. Oblivion beckons. Carve that effigy. Get it all sorted. Bada bim, bada boom. Happy our days. Work for our, we will be rewarded. Maybe I want to replace these um, these people now. Let's not worry about it. Okay. So, uh, where do we build the summoning the summoning ritual the summoning ritual site? Is that on the... That's on the beach. That is on the beach. Let's, uh... Let's do it right over there. I don't think that we're... Oh, no, totally. We're going to be totally fine. Let's uh, let's just build a road all the way along the front. That is grand. It's going to be kind of weird for the people collecting clams that they're going to have a ritual summoning site right next door. But to be honest, I feel like the people on this island don't really care that much, to be fair. All right, summoning demons. Yeah, we'll summon demons. We'll figure that out in just a sec. Uh, let's complete this ritual here. We'll say hello to big old tentacle bro again, uh, because that is going to give us some more of the old favor, which is grand. That's exactly what we want to see. Uh, sheep farm allows us to make robes and also drain bloods. Increased summon demon limit. Nice. And... Uh, and some additional faith income as well. Okay, we'll summon some demons. We'll get that all sorted. No big deal. And then we'll take out the town. Excellent. Okay, we will build pylons. Don't worry, we'll get that built right now. We need three faith or three, three resources. So we'll start the process of constructing, constructing this bad boy right now. Excellent. And then let's have a little look at demons. We need pylons to actually be built before we can before we can progress. Well, it's a good thing that we unlock pylons. Uh, Blood drainer. We're going to need some um, some eldritch favor as well. Um, but a sheep, a sheep facility, we also need Eldritch Favor for, and a road maker, we also need Eldritch Favor for. So it looks like we absolutely need to wait until that happens. Uh, let's work through in terms of most important to least important. We'll build the two pylon facilities. Uh, that is definitely connected. However, the other one is not, and it's in kind of an inconvenient location. So we're going to have to build a long, big old road over there. That's fine. Get both of those built uh sheep facilities let's let's work on sheep facilities next got a sheep farm over here presumably we're going to have some fields that we need to 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 build robe maker yep and also let's get ourselves a blood drainer 
We'll start with that. We've got 12 initiates available. So we can... We can make this happen. Uh, we've got the pylon built. We've got one pylon. That means we can summon one demon. Or two demons, I should say. Uh, this is going to give us... Oh my goodness gracious me. We need five blood in order to summon the demon. And there's a couple of different demon types that we can get. A Zolkoth, a Yogathar, and an Az Azathir, which is what our objective is to summon. And that's literally just, just blood, which is, which is cool. We require workers, O oh High Priest. Insufficient workers. Yeah. Um, do we have anybody that has a sheep special specialism? I, I don't actually think so. It, it doesn't look like it's possible to get... So you know what? Let's just get um, let's just get two other people. Maybe there is a way. Maybe there is a way to get people with a sheep specialism, but it's fine. Yeah, these people are. There are no materials. Oh, there's one more one more slot there. Cool. Okay, no materials. Doesn't look like we actually need to assign any additional fields or anything for the sheepies. They're pretty chill with it as is, which is grand. There are no materials. Oh I serve the deep. No materials. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, blood. How do we? How do we find blood? Demon summoning summoning materials. It's got to be demon summoning materials, right? We also have one last homeless citizen, which I think we will get another house for question of location is tricksy. Is that even affected by the... It's affected by the temple, but barely. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay with that. Right, followers await our decision. What's happening? One of the families, a baby was born with an unusual mark on their forehead resembling the tendrils of our Lord. The parents ask you to bless the child and give them a name for this miracle. Parents should choose a name for their child. They will receive a blessing, but we require merit materials in return. Head signifies your blessed destiny as his star spawn. You should be named Smith, for you are the Smith of your own destiny. The best delivery are those who believe consistently. Zoth. Let's go with Zoth. Uh, that gives us an additional follower. Excellent. Cool. Excellent. We get a brand new follower because apparently he turns into a man very, very quickly. You love to see it. All right. Two blood already. That is looking grand. We've got the required resources to summon ourselves a demon. We've got six blood, and let's see if we can try and nab ourselves. One of these bad boys. Right. Who do we want to... Ooh, sacrifice. Sacrifice you? We only have one person that's unemployed. Uh, sacrifice a clam collector. Okay, so we need two sacrifices per demon. A thousand faith cost, uh, some planks, and some blood. Easy peasy. It is going to take a little bit of time, presumably. Okay. Honor the teaching. Absolutely no idea what is going on here. But they're all sort of dancing around. That looks kind of nice. I guess we're about to see what happens. Alrighty, that is pretty messed up, to be honest. That is very, very messed up. Uh, and that's it. That's the end of the, um, that's the end of the, the, the demo. That's the end, the end of the early build. Um, it's, it's looking, it's looking good. I like it. I mean, I really like the theme. I think it is a little bit unfinished at the moment, even for a pre-alpha. I mean, it's only a pre-alpha. Fair enough. But I mean, geez, Louise, I would just love the ability to turn that narration down just a smidge. Um, yeah, I I'm really excited for this. I can't wait to see what happens. I think the premise is great. Um, certainly attacking towns, that seems heckin' interesting. Can't wait to see how that plays out. Anyway, ladies and gents, let me know what you think. Uh, check it out, linked down in the description below, Worshippers of Cthulhu. Thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I'll catch you next time. Bye.